it got real quick. Trap Tendo. What is going on guys? So we are talking about Renoise Redux, which Renoise is its own separate DAW that is tracker based and it's actually pretty dope as well, which led me to Redux, which is a sampler that can play one shots, it can chop up samples, it can manipulate different slices into anything that you want, time stretch, all of that stuff. And I know the title is pretty spicy, isn't it? I know a lot of you Serato sample guys are probably not gonna give this a chance but I highly recommend it as Serato Sample is probably the second best in my opinion. And then you have the MPC uh, based chop sample tool and then you have <laughs> FL Slicer. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> some people do like Slice X and I do apologize, but I will do a comparison video a little later, but this is more about the features of Redux. So this is Renoise Redux in the flesh here and the link will be in the description box, but I highly recommend checking out a demo before you even purchase it. Just deep dive with me and decide if this is for you. So, you know, with claims of it being better than Serato Sample, I know you guys want me to back it up, but there is a huge learning curve to this. And I know you guys like simplicity. So therefore, if you want something that's better, sometimes uh, it comes with this own little caveat there. So once I hit this editor, you can see where you will drop the sample in and it is also vectoral. So it can stretch to this, your screen size or however you want it to, to be. And I'm gonna go ahead and use the sample over here. And let me go ahead and pull that back up. Green noise here, got a little double fingers. And I'm gonna go ahead and uh, boom, here we go. Drag it in here. And this is the sample. It's important that I play it so you can understand the context between how you get certain things going. So that is at 75 BPM. The track is actually at 84 right now with drums in there and hip hop drums at that. So now let me play that with the sample going. So it's not the way you will want it to be. You're gonna be like, well, man, well, that ain't Serato like Serato. Well, guess what? You can go and be sync and you can time stretch. You just have to set it up that way. And you'll understand that the further I get into this video of the flexibility of this. So now that we have that set up, Obviously, that's too fast. You might want that, but uh, this is how you will go about changing it. Now, I already know the increment that it's supposed to be at 128 will be the, the right resolution for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter that in here. And I did that uh, via this pool right here, which is the sample pool, and made sure that the beat sync is on. And now let's play it. I'm gonna play the other part, lower octave. And now you can have your time stretch. Now there's a reason why it's like that and it will make sense once I go further down this rabbit hole. Now with this, Yes, you can chop up samples if you go and mess with this. This is the sensitivity and, you know, if you want to auto chop your sample, you can. However, that's where things get a little loopy because that time stretch doesn't work the same way. You will have to arrange it by going into here and pressing control A and going through individual chops. Now, that sounds like a lot of work, but what I want you guys to understand is that is a cool little caveat to have for this. Now, let me go ahead and go back, get rid of all those chops because I wanna show you uh, the snap feature here. And if you, if I highlight a specific parameter, you can see that it tells you what it does. So that's pretty cool. You can turn it off, of course, in the options over here. Uh, and also you can uh, change the way it looks too as well. And that's really dope. And you can customize the way it looks too. So I just want to show off that because that was, I was like, oh, sh shit, fuck it. I just curse, shit. But uh, I'm going to go in here to snap. You have different choices in snapping of how you want your grid to snap as far as your samples. Then you can also see over here, since I have it at 128, that these are increments of bars over here. It should be at 32, I believe, but it's not at perfect 32. So that means that the sample wasn't cut perfectly, which is cool because if you, 
wanted to, you can go and chop up the sample too. And you can chop it up in different increments as well. So you would just highlight that area. That's all I did was drag the area and highlight it and chopped it out. And that is something that Serato Sample does not do. But uh, what I wanted to do is go ahead and to use this slice feature over here. So once you hit this slice parameter, uh, that's when you can lay down your chop. So I have one chop over here so I can go and adjust that. Since it's snapping to beats, it's gonna snap perfectly. So I'm gonna put one at nine. I'm gonna put one at 17. I'm gonna put one at 25. And now I'm gonna go back over here. And if you see, now it's not perfect again. If I play the different chops. And now what I gotta do again is this right here, which is uh, go back over here to the sample pool of my different chops that are non destructively chopped. And then I'm gonna go and make sure that I unhighlight the main chop because that's the main sample. I wanna keep that the way I, I want it. And then I'm gonna go ahead and go over here and do beat sync again. And then I'm gonna do uh, time stretch texture and I'm gonna do 30 uh, increment of 32. Uh, resolutions right here for the beat sync and then everything will be on point but that's it's not only that if I go back over here into the main chop and if I want to mess with some stuff turn off slicing uh, I could do other things uh, destructively to this and this is where uh, Redux actually shines at and this is where why the drum and bass heads love this and I could do a reverse I can do a just DC offset per uh, chop so I'm gonna go ahead and reverse this one right here. Let's hear it. So. Let's go ahead and lay that down, matter of fact. Let's go. I'm a little off beat, but. Nothing that some quantized can't fix. Now, you can start to see some of the magic behind this. And it does have other tabs. You have phrase uh, tab, you have a key zone because you're gonna mess with different key zones. So this is good for like uh, one shot key groups if you wanna change and put in different samples per note or something like that. Uh, but you know, we're gonna talk about modulation too and setting that up because, oh my God, when I start showing you some of that, ooh. But uh, now we have something going and you have other features as well. You have what you call one shot. I'll make sure I'm in this. I'm gonna go to this chop right here. I'm gonna go to chop number one. And if you set up one shot, you can see it's starting to loop, but you can set up your groups. You can set up a, a group one here. Can also set up to for it to be continuous cut whatever so if you play like another key it will cut off in between it so i'm gonna play that again let me go ahead and uh, take it out of a group here oh well i guess it won't let me take it out the group whoop but uh, yeah, so you start to see some of the some of the craziness that you can start getting. Uh, you also can interpolate between it uh, between different chops. Of course, uh, with interpolation, what that means is that you basically are either reserving or taking away uh, sample quality. So you can actually get a if you want your time stretch to sound extra lo-fi, you can uh, choose linear. So if you want it high quality, you can turn it to sync. It's a little hard to tell, but you know, that, that feature alone, you know, it kind of helps with a lot of the way that it will sound in terms of its quality. Uh, you also have uh, ways where you can apply samples. I mean, apply effects. Let me go into one chop here. I want to see if this is uh, what it's about. So I'm going to go ahead and select the analog filter. I'm going to select, uh, Hmm, I wanted to select a chorus, maybe a chorus effect in that third one. 
And I'm going to see if I can do Convol. No, not Convol. Because there is Lo-Fi. Lo-Fi Mat is what it's called. Now, I, I don't know for sure if it's per uh, chop. Oh, that would have been sick if it was per chop. I think there is a way where you can do that. But uh, I haven't got that far down the rabbit hole, per se. But you can start hearing the quality. So if you really want to uh, have a sampler that's all like grandiose in terms of its features then yeah this is uh for you right here what re what redux can do uh so what i want to do here though is show you a couple of things here uh and this first thing is definitely the coolest and that is creating phrases so remember i i talked about renoise the actual daw being a tracker based daw well you technically have that feature inside of redux now, I know MXX Audio, you're going to love this, but I don't know if everybody else is going to love this. So we're on, this is where you start utilizing uh, the hexadecimal programming that you may know or not know, which I'll have a link in the description box to a briefing about that. And you'll have what you call features of far as programming. And you see this tracker right here. I can turn this on and it's going to start going down the tracker. So now that it's, it's off right now, I'm going to turn the editing on. Uh, you got to be careful about what you do as far as your uh, your editing. And I'm going to go ahead and turn it off right now uh, just to make sure that nothing's happening. But you can mess with your keyboard. So you have your slices. So. And now <laughs> this is where things get crazy, crazy. And we're going to go and start doing some programming. So I'm going to go and turn on editing. Uh, we're going to type in some phrases here. I'm going to go zero, four, and this is just some, some random stuff I'm putting in here. And I'm going to go to 24 here. And you know, you want to make sure that you're mindful of, of rhythm, the numbers and stuff like that, of course. Uh, and it has 32 steps too, is by the way. So I'm going to go and do that. Now, this is where things get a little crazy. If I was to go and play that. Now you start to hear that I have this phrase. Now, what I'm going to go ahead and show you is this right here because uh, it gets going down the, further down the rabbit hole. You can go over here to effects and then we can right click on effects and we can choose what type of effects that you want. Uh, let's see here, I'm trying to get to the effects here. Uh, no effect, oh, okay. You go over here to the effects. Uh, you can select uh, setting a Pidgeo so you can write a Pidgeo right here, which I don't think it's gonna do anything uh, for right now. Uh, you can set the amount of it, of course. I'm going to go and set up delays. I'm just going to do a whole bunch of random stuff. So you can start hearing the crazy stuff that you can do with this. And then you'll see why I'm so adamant about this so far. I'm going to do a glide. Uh, let's go over here. Set up a. Uh, let's see. It was something that was really nuts. Tremolo. Uh, Let's go and now we're gonna set up something else here. Uh, play sample backwards. And I'm gonna go ahead and dial the amount in here. Now let's go ahead and play the phrase. Now, now that you see some of the potential of what you could do, now, how would you execute this on your MIDI keyboard? Well, it's as simple as grabbing this phrase and dropping it on, you know, whatever part that you want. Uh, I'm going to drop it. Uh, let's drop it on C4 here. So we have this. And you get like some crazy type sampling in here. And I'm not even going that deep. Like there's some more stuff to go on to that. 
uh, that I, I want to show you in another video here. And of course, you, you know, this is a one shot sampler too. So, you know, if I wanted to uh, play notes and something like that, I could do that as well. All right, so let's go over here. I'm going to go to, let me close this real quick and I'm going to pull up this read noise. So again, this does play one shot samples and you can, uh, as you can see, you can set up your loop points and stuff, basic stuff. Let's lay that down. Mm. Mm. Hey. And there you go. You can you can pretty much rock with sampling all you want. Uh, and basically uh, you do have stuff that comes with it. It does come with its own presets and stuff like that, breaks and stuff. And if I was to play like one of the breaks, let me go over here. Matter of fact, I should did this at the very beginning of the video here. Uh, but you can see where the phrases are at. And you can see some of the craziness that comes with this. Holy shit. <laughs> 